This is Heinz Hornung speaking, CEO of Felicitas Customized Engineering. With this little video I will demonstrate how to map a simulation model to any um, shape in, in your schematic. For this I have opened Felicitas P PCB Sim on the right hand side and um, Eagle on the left hand side and I've already opened um, an example schematic which is uh, a triangle generator with a small start-stop logic. And um, today I'm interested in how to assign a simulation model to an integrated circuit or any semiconductor. And for this I'm using this integrated circuit IC2 as example. I'm making a right mouse click on it and choosing the context menu entry PCB sim. Now this dialog is already supplied by PCB Sim, and it allows me to choose a model file, within the model file a component and make a pin mapping between the shape pins and the model pins. Felicitas PCB Sim works with library files which can contain any number of simulation models. Um, they have different types, for example bipolar transistors or integrated circuits. With this um, drop-down list, I can choose a library file. In this case, I'm choosing standard opv.fic. And within the library file, I can choose with the next dropbox, drop-down box, um, an integrated circuit. It has been chosen, or it has already been selected 8823, but I'm now changing this to LF353 just to demonstrate how it works. And now when I choose this, um, I have to, to assign the shape pins to the model pins. The shape pins are the pins we see on the schematic, so for example plus VS is the positive power supply. The model pin is the pin, um, um, is the pin in the simulation model. So, for example, plus VS would be the positive power supply. Felicitas PCB Sim has meaningful pin names with the simulation models, so the pin assignment is very easy. The output here is the output. That's it. So, I have chosen a library file, a component within the library file, and I've made the pin mapping, so I'm ready. So if I press now the OK button, this assignment is stored in the schematic. So um, if I save the schematic, this assignment will be perpetual. So um, I demonstrate shortly um, the same process with the transistor. Here we go. And what I show here is this search button. This search button allows me um, to search in the list of installed library files. So, for example, if I'm searching here for 3055, then I'm finding two transistors. I make a double click on one of those. If I make a double click, automatically the model file is selected and the component is selected, and I only have to take care of the pin assignment which for bipolar transistors is mostly done automatically. So it's, um, with this search button, is there, it is therefore very easy to search for a model within all the library files which are installed. If I press the OK button now, this uh, model assignment has been stored to T1 and um, is also stored in the schematic. The same assignment I could do in um, Eagle's library files uh, so that would mean if I add a component from such a library file, it would already have the model assignment done. This assignment within the library can only be done with the professional version. The assignment I have just shown can also be done with the standard version. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and bye for now.